how are you friend hope you're having a fabulous saturday um i know several of my friends have been crafting and creating and and just going and going today um well you can hush i don't need you to talk to me right now um and now it's going to open the mail i didn't ask you to open the mail i asked you to hush <laughs> give me one second to quiet my computer um Mm, hitting the button, hitting the button. Okay. So, it shouldn't squeal at me for an hour. shouldn't ding at me when I get email or anything else. So, I'm trying a different setup today. So, I'm hoping it'll work better. Last night, I had some very technical, very big difficulties. Let's see, that's the wrong way. Let's go this way. There we go. A little more in the circle now. There we go. Okay. So, I was having some difficulties last night. One of my cameras went down like broke off of the holder, like broke the piece on it. So anyway, we've hopefully got it fixed. So I'm playing with my Artistro paints again today. I haven't pulled them out in a while. They have a beautiful range of colors, array of colors. And I'm, I said I was going to paint my, my uh, ceramic dragonfly holder. And I think I will. I'm just trying to figure out what colors I want to do it in. Because this pale green... An emerald green and phthalo green kind of mix would be good for the grass. And then the cattails, are they darker or are they lighter usually? When you join me, if you'll say hi and let me know. And then dragonflies have the green and the shimmery. So I'm going to get black and white out because I know I'm going to need those. Um, I'm going to even use the brushes that came in this kit this time. Just so I can play with this kit and see. Because I think this raw sienna is what makes me think of the, the top of the cattails there. Just trying to remember if the stems on them have... Let me go Google it real quick. Nope, that's not what I want. I do want that, but I want that. Okay, let's hit Google. Say cattails. That's what I thought. They're on a green stick, a green stem, and they're brown. And glancing, I'm going to say it's pretty close to this one. If it's not, then it's a combination of yellow ochre and raw sienna. Uh, I don't really think there's a lot of burnt sienna in that one, so we'll roll with that. Now, let me do dragonflies. <laughs> Let's go with images. Whoa. Typically, it looks like there are some different colors. I'm wanting to see real ones. Do we see any real ones? Okay, here's a dragonfly he's got some pretty colors in him. these looks like some bright greens so since we're going to be doing the grass and greens i'm either going to do them in blue like this one with some iridescent blues Ooh, look at him that one's blue that one's really i'm liking that one yep yep i think i'm going to do it that way So, I need some, we'll just pull out all the blues. And then I'll go and get, because I do know that I'm going to need some iridescent colors, and they're right here. I got blue flash, blue violet flash, and dragonfly glaze. I probably am not going to use the blue violet on anything, but we shall see. So, how are you today, friend? Hope you're having a great day. Let me get the comments where I can see them. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, my chair's a little high there. All right, well, this is another fabulous gear product. I believe I got my dragons from gear. I buy from two different places, and some of them have different things. And I think I know I had to have my original order of these replaced because they had gotten tore up in shipment and it was just kind of sad to me so i think what i'm going to do is start with our grass the background and then i'll work on my cattails i think these need to be a brighter shade of green than the grass so i think i'm going to use the phthalo green we're going to see what it looks like because if it's not what i want then we're not going to use it Let's just start with that. Say hey if you don't mind when you join me. I would love to chit chat with you while we're while I'm painting, and maybe talk about what you're painting if you're painting something. All right, so I'm going to start with like there's a tip of a cattail right there at the edge of this little guy right here, and I'm just going to pull that up. I'll be real honest, some of these paints I don't think were made for crafting. I think they were made just for more artsy painting. And maybe this brand is that way. I don't know. We're going to see. Oh, that's like super fly dry. I may have to get some floating medium in there to help smooth it along because it's sticking and absorbing. But of course, bisque is very porous, and that's what unfired, what the fired but not finished ceramics are called is bisque. So that's what I have here is bisque. And if we look, there's the rest of that cattail coming in there around that wing and then we've got more grass coming up now i think i am going to get just a little bit of water here for the moment and we'll see if we can thin it up just a little bit to keep it smooth and going because it doesn't look like it's making the color any thinner Hey Zoe, did we get the the to go boxes put up earlier? Did we get them put up? Okay. All right. Now we're up here at another one of those cute little cattails. And we're coming around this grass. And yes, I am kind of trying to grab some of these what? sides here as well. Are you on a live? Mm hmm. I'm sorry. We're Nobody good. Told me. We're good. I didn't tell anybody. She's fine. Y'all keep a talking. Sorry. We're good. I'm live on Facebook. It's okay. She's live on Facebook and she's in the other room. Oops. It's yeah. okay, girls. It's all right. Y'all, okay. so my daughter's having her afternoon girl time with her girls, and she came out of her room not knowing that I'm live. So they were all chitter chattering away about swimsuits and everything else. And she's a little worried that she's too loud or whatever. And I'm like, we are good, guys. We 
See, that's, that's, I'm liking that color. I am trying to catch some of these edges just because they do get kind of twisted around there. That's the side of that cattail, so I'll probably have to catch it with the brown again later. And Trying to have that cattail but separate from this one. It's an actual restaurant, it's just water. And then so that's going to be a different color. Okay, what am I doing? My my watches bumping at me thought i had pressure on it okay all righty y'all there we go i'm trying to get up here at the top i will just kind of go around that whole top even where the edges of the cattails are We'll just kind of ring it around the inside right there. Oh, don't know if y'all can see that. I didn't have it tilted far enough. Sorry, y'all. Y'all just need to let me know when I am not as far up as I think I am. Some of that paint gets really, really thick, so I'm trying to thin it out just a little bit. You don't want it so thick it looks like a funny glob on there. And I'm pretty sure since I'm doing the brown over that, that'll be okay. We shall see. We shall see. I'm trying to get really close to the edge of that. Then we'll get the rest of this here. Can y'all see everything okay? Am I delayed or anything like that? I'm trying to really work on the presentation here. I love using my OBS, but it only lets me stream to one side at a time. And OBS is my setup that has the circle for my face and then the big area here for... Uh, the visual setup for my, my art space. And I don't want it to be one of those that it's a big pain and if people can't hear me or can't hear what I'm saying in time with what I'm doing, it's kind of a pain. There's times when I use that with the stream yard and it doesn't let me, it doesn't do the sound right. Okay, so let's see. I think that's the tip of a cattail that that dragonfly's in front of. I'm going to try and pull all of those up just a little bit so that the any streaks from the that might be in the paint are all kind of going up like grass sticking up. Does that make sense?
Okay. Let's see. We are right here. And that's why I say I think that's a cattail coming in there. And then we've got a dragonfly wing right there. That's a little green spot. Okay, y'all. I guess I need to put it down here so y'all can see better. Y'all just gotta tell me if I'm not paying attention. Now, I can get these if you're interested in doing some. I have a small number, so I would be able to offer a very small class. And by small, I mean I have like four. also have some very pretty lighthouses. Then I'm going to work on getting a few of them done. Or work on either doing one or doing a class. I'm not sure which. I would love to see it be a class. But there are only four of them. So I was trying to get them, paint them, and sell them. Already painted. I might should have dipped this in black before I started. One that would help hide some of the the white on all of it. I could have dipped it in some uh, water that has some black paint in it, and then it could have just been. Had that dipped look to it. Then the inside would have been black too, or at least gray, a darker gray. All right. All right, I keep putting just a drip or two of water from my brush and adding it to this green. And this is the phthalo green. It's a very darker green, much darker green than some of the other colors. I'm going to grab it here and I think we have some grass coming across here. And up in here. So I'm going to try and grab those spots and bring it down. Okay, and that's got that cattail, so we're going to bring it down under here. I need a little bit more of that green set out. I'm just loving how smart my watch is. It's telling me it's time to stand. So I have enough standing hours at the end of the day. I do actually like that it reminds me that I need to stand up more than I do in a day. 
But it's funny some days when it seems like it's a naggy mama. By the way, it's time to stand again. I'm like, I just stood. Did that not count? Well, it wasn't in a new hour of the day. So you need to stand for this hour for at least a minute. So I'll have to stand in a minute when I get done. Stand for a bit to get it to catch up with me. Let me let me say I've had my hour. My my minute in the hour. All right. So what are you doing? What's your project for this weekend? Are you taking the weekend off? Are you doing gardening? What are you doing? Tell me what you are doing today. I am potentially doing an art journaling box thing this evening where I've got my start journal box and it came in today. I was not sure if I was going to go if I didn't have my box yet because I didn't want it all ruined. Hey, that's the one I've been telling you about. Yes, ma'am, Miss Tammy, it is. It's over there where I had it earlier. In there? No, so if you look right there on that dresser that I'm pointing to the corner of, and you'll see the case of it sitting right there, like right in front of your own eyes. Since you're out, would you get me some water and bring me a glass of water to drink? Just a small one's fine. Thank you. I didn't call you out special to do it, but since you're here. <laughs> so what are you doing this weekend, Tammy? I'm trying to to play with these new these other paints i've only used them one other night and mess with them any and i really feel like i'm not doing them a dis a service but giving them a fair shot i just kind of have my favorites that i like to use a lot thank you sweet pea welcome Now, they say they have a little thing that comes in this. It says it's recommended to use a battery-operated LED votive or can little LED or tea light or whatever uh, with these just because they're less likely to actually catch a fire, start a fire. Okay, so I, I get that. Found a link under my... Under your what? Crazy. It does explain the high water bill. Under your house, maybe? Is there a water leak under the house? Okay. All righty. Yeah, I kind of figured it was under the house. If it's not in the, ha in the house... You're not going to find it as fast, and it's going to take you a little bit to find it, but boy, what what's leaking? Just a pipe leaking somewhere? Or... Okay, can y'all see what I'm doing? I don't think you can. Let me move this around so I can put my hand closer to over here, and maybe I'll stay in the right spot then. I keep pulling it over to the other side because I want to stick my hand in the wet paint over here and I keep putting a little bit of water over here just kind of thinning it down just a little bit because it seems like it gets really thick with this porous surface it gets really thick really fast I would probably have been better to use my multi-surface on my deco art my, deck, my multi surface folk art, or my, some of my deco art or regular craft paints, or any of those, but I did not. I did not think about that until I'd already started. Okay, so that's a tiny green one. And 
that's a tiny green one. So I'm going to kind of come in here and do this little triangle in here. Copper pipe had a pinhole in main waters line. You know, copper pipes can get those little bitty teeny tiny pinholes and they are like big water loss areas. My dad had one in a bathroom in the hall one time. And it was the bathroom that we kids had used when we were growing up. But they were getting ready to go out of town and had to stop and delay their trip by day, by several hours. Almost like they were going to have to cancel the trip. Because they were coming out to see Philip graduating preaching school in Memphis. And then they were heading up to New Jersey. But they thought they were going to have to cancel the trip or delay it a lot. Delay it altogether because delay the New Jersey part anyway because it was a mess a lot, a lot of water can come through those little bitty pinholes I think it's especially in those copper pipes because they just don't seem to uh, rust over in the edge of the hole and there's not as much rust like sticking in the holes does that make sense on the copper pipes it's just like there is a pure little hole there, and it's just going to run right on out. <laughs> it just runs and runs and runs. Where if it's some of the other kind of different pipes, I've seen where there's a little bit of rust that'll stick in there, and they'll kind of little bits and pieces will stick in there, and then it just it slows the drip down a little bit, but not with copper pipes. Not with little copper pipes. They just kind of run, run, run as fast as you can. Okay. And I'm using a phthalo green on this. Well, we went yesterday and picked up metal for our... We're going to cover the carport area. And we're going to, to uh, build a, I'm going to say back patio type area. We're going to put a cover over some of the area in the backyard there so that we can go outside and while he's grilling or whatever, we've got space that's not dripping wet. If it's raining or, you know, and he's out there trying to grill or whatever, we can kind of still sit out there with him or whatever and just kind of enjoy eating outside if we wanted to. Now, I'm thinking we may end up having to to screen it in if I'm if we're going to sit out there very much. But as where we're planning to do most of it, it'll at least I'll be able to walk outside to walk the dogs and not get soaking wet the way we're planning to do it. But he got over there and the coverage was a little different, so he. He may need to have to find him another sheet of one of the pieces because he thinks he may have miscalculated after all. Bless his heart. He thinks he's a, short, a sheet shy of what he needs. It'll cover one of the back doors but not the other of the French doors. And we want it to go for both of them. What we need is for that to to not hit that porch step there in a big way. All right. I'm almost done with this. And I was saying earlier, Tammy, that I think I might should have dipped these in black, like watered down water with some black paint just so it would have a, uh, a light gray like on the inside or a solid color that kind of adds to the depth, the shadows in the area. You know, when you look at the ground, there's not, when you're looking at grass and water and stuff, there's, there is light areas. Yes. But when you're looking at the, the sh shadows and stuff, I typically see more of the darker, like in the backgrounds rather than it being like bright white or bisque white in the background. So I was thinking I'm, if I do these as a class, 
or if I do them to sell, I will probably water down some black and dip them in it. And then, then do the, the rest of it. All right. I think that has the phthalo green and that's got all our grass. And I went inside the lid of the lip there. Trying to make sure I'm getting all that darker green out. I'll have it around, but I think this pale green is going to be what I want for my cattail stems. Now, I think I'm going to want a thinner brush. for those so I'm going to get this light green I'm gonna hit this tip right here and we're gonna come get right along here okay, I'm gonna put my hand back in there because it seems like it's drier and where it's dry inside and I can just do it that way a little bit safer not making quite such a mess on my hand now if I was to catch a little of that darker green and pull it in it's not gonna hurt my feelings because that just adds some depth to that and helps it to streak along so, Tammy, did you ever finish your thing from last night, your painted prayer thingy? Have you worked on any today yet? All right, I'm going to try and figure out. Okay, this was a part of a tail that I missed. Let's see it coming because it comes right through here. Okay, sorry y'all, I'm just getting like way quiet here because this is like trying to trace all of these little pieces where they go. And I think what's funny is that I hear the dog snoring outside the room. That is hilarious. No. Well, I put a picture of my finished one on my page on the post. I think I may need to go put it on your page on the post. Where we did them. Where I did it. I think I put it on your page yet. I'm not impressed with my hand lettering. I'm just saying. But I knew I wouldn't be able to get the printer to print from my computer, so I'd have to, to send it to Philip's computer to then go back there and print it, to then come back in here to trace it. And it's like, look, that's it. My machine knows how to cut. My machine knows how to cut this stuff. It already cut it one cut like the night before it cut the words from my Texas one. So I know it knows how to cut and I know it knows how to cut that material. But for whatever reason, it was not doing it right. And I'm sure it had some, it was technical error on my part. I'm sure technician error. That's what it's called. Um, no doubt. But... I was just not impressed with it. And then I didn't save it, so I can't go back and try just to cut it again over the top of where it was. 
I didn't pull it off the mat until a little while ago because I was like, I can just go back and print it again and then I cut it again. And I was like, no, you can't, you big dummy. You told it to just shut down and get out of your face because you was mad last night. So you didn't save nothing. You didn't save where you copied and moved and resized. And so I was like, okay, never mind. It's not going to do that. Oh, well. This one is going to have to be mine. I don't, I'm not going to be selling this one. Just debating selling some of them if I can get them prettied up enough. But uh, this one is going to be mine. It was one of them that I said I can deal with the cracks if I paint it for myself. I don't want to give it to nobody if it's got some cracks in it. Now I'm like, oh yeah, this is the one that had. All right, let's get over here with this real quick. I'm going to go in here with that. Why did I not hit that? I think that was supposed to be the top of the cattail. Turned it sideways so I couldn't see it very well. Okay. All right, rinsing that one. Hell green's down. And I think I had decided the raw sienna was the best for our uh, cattail tops from the looks of things. Maybe if I needed to mix in some yellow ochre, I would, or maybe hit some highlights with the yellow ochre. All right. There we go. That's kind of. And of course, I'm just going to grab some big chunk of green right there. It's like, no, I don't want green right there. I want the yellow, the raw sienna. Okay, this is one, this little piece right in here, there we go. Actually, I think that piece is supposed to be a dark green, so before I miss it, I'm going to come back and see if I can re re revive any of that. And we're going to put it right. Thank you. 
There you go. All right, so there's we've got that one where it's kind of hiding through there. And we got another one over here. All right, I gotta get my thumb around here. I'll get it where I can move my thumb. Hey, as you join me, if you'll say hey, I would love to say hey back. Um, if you'll say hi, Tammy and I have been chit chatting. Well, the last couple of seconds I haven't been chit chatting. I've been painting really intently in that tight little space there. They get kind of tight in here on these. I like them because they're so cute, but I'm like, man, this is like a bugger to, to get painted. Or it can be because all these little details. Now, if you just wanted to, to do it in like iridescent colors and just be done with it and not be all, well, cattails are this color and this is that color and this has got to be, a, then I guess you could do that. It'd be pretty if you did like a an iridescent or one of the color shifts. Like do the the main grass and all that and a color shift like the emerald color shift the emerald flash color shift that's really dark and then you could do like the the dragonflies themselves maybe even i've got a yellow color shift you could probably mix it with some orange and get kind of a close enough for this So I miss the tip of this one's grass. I'm going to have to go back to that light green in just a second. Okay, and I really didn't water the light green down as much whenever I was using it, but this brown keeps getting kind of thick right in here, and I'm trying to keep it smoother. So I'm adding just a touch of water. Not a lot. Typically I would use floating medium, but because this is the ceramic, I figured it would be okay to use just a little hint of the, the water to thin it just that little bit. Sounds like it's raining again, y'all. In fact, I know it is. I can hear it coming down now. Coming down good. Okay, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and then I'm going to come back and hit that tip because I missed the tip of that cattail. Now, what color do you think I should do the wings? The dragonfly wings. I found a picture of a really pretty blue, kind of blue iridescent dragonfly that I think I'm going to do blue on my dragonflies, but I'm trying to decide if, since the wings are pretty sheer and thin and, and you don't really they're almost a white iridescent on almost all of them. Let me look again at my picture here in just a second. And then... All right, guys. I'm trying to figure out for sure if I've got them all. Okay. Okay. 
for whatever reason. That did not get any at all. I mean, it should have. And then right here, we need. All right, Tammy, what color do we need for our wings on our dragonfly? Okay, that's our green tip here. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at my picture again. And I've got this really pretty blue one pulled up here. And his wings even look blue there. Hmm. His have the blue look too, so I think I'm just going to do them in blue. Alrighty then. So, do I put a blue down and then put the iridescent? No, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm not going to waste that. I'm just going to do my blue flash color shift. Okay. All right, now I'm going to stick my hand back in here because it's just easier to hold on to it and keep your fingers out of it. Now, I'm trying to decide which brush. I think I want this slightly smaller one that's still wide and flat, at least for the moment. All right, we've got our blue green. You know what? I think I should have done the undercoat though. Well, let's do us a cerulean blue undercoat because I think he needs that undercoat. That's almost too thin right there, I think, and it's not necessarily going to do that bright blue that I'm kind of wanting to kind of shine through. So we're going to do this blue over him. I think what I'll do is leave the wings so that they kind of have that lighter shade to them. I do like the body and the head. And our bluer undercoat. Tammy, is my sound in my hand seem like I'm doing okay? I'm, I'm telling you right now that I'm painting on the nose of this one. So I don't know if I've got any lag going on or not. Looks to me like I'm doing okay, but I'm not 100% certain. Let me know. Okay, so now I'm going to take the whole thing and give him my blue flash overcoat because that's going to make all of it a little iridescent there. And then we'll have a little bit of that blue, but we'll have a little bit of that iridescence in there too. I want the wings to be a little bit more of the iridescent than I do the other color. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay, good. Thank you. Because you know how sometimes it is whenever I get those delays in there and it's like, um, I'm not using it today. Well, today I thought I'd give it a try. After my camera issues last night, where it broke and went crazy on me, I thought, well, let me just see. I was trying to get it set back up and turned back on so that maybe I could... I left it sitting there drying with the back piece in it glued in it. I tried fit, tried picking it. He said, leave it up for a few minutes. Well, that wasn't long enough. It messed up and pulled back out. So I got it, finally got it unscrewed and got it back in there. And let it dry overnight. So I just a little while ago got up, got it all hooked back up. All right, I kind of like that. Can you see the difference in the blue and the iridescent over the blue versus the... Just the iridescence on the wings. I think I can, so I hope you can. I'm just, I'm thinking that this wing will look better, not pure blue like the body was. I need it to have, I want it to have some of that impression. Most of them around here I have seen are not blue. They're the bluish green, more with some green on them. So I was excited to see a blue one whenever I pulled up live pictures of them a while ago. Uh, underside of these wings. There we go. I think they look good. I'm liking that. I'm really liking it. Okay, so we're going to do our body in the blue. And our eyeballies and nose up here. There we go. And on the back here, it's just easier to go back and forth, back and forth. Kind of stop at the base and come over and stop at the other side and come back up and meet in the middle there. Looks like I did not get close enough with my grass at the bottom. So I'm going to have to go back with a little bit more of that green. And fill in a few of those holes. Okay. So now I'm going to take, well, I still got a little bit of that regular blue in there and put a hint of it in there. And then I'm going to come in with my My iridescent stuff. My color shift. Okay, I'm trying 
trying to get it out of that. It got too high toward the nozzle and I couldn't get the paint out of it because it's all literally sitting right there laughing at me because it won't spread out. <laughs> I'm like, really? You need to spread out. I'm going to grab a light where it gripped. We're going to try and get that off right fast. Okay. There we go. And go ahead and hit the top of the body so it's got that iridescent sheen on it. Now I'm not worried about if I hit this blue part really hard with this this iridescence because you know they don't. They're just going to be iridescent and shimmery. And we're just going to see the part that we see shimmering when we see it. And we're not going to see all of it shimmer at the same time, the same way. So, anyway. So. All right, guys. I am almost done. Two down, two to go. Not too bad. They seem pretty fun to paint if you can paint and talk at the same time. Which I kind of like when I've got somebody to talk to. You got somebody working on that leak already, Tammy? Got a plumber called. All right, adding a little bit more. Uh-oh, looks like I'm going to need some more blue flash soon. I'm trying to mush some of the rest of that blue out so that the wings have some blue in them, but not overpoweringly dark.
Okay, last one. We got the body all blue, and I'm going to hit it with some little bit of this uh, color shift so that the body does shimmer. We're going to hit these wings. We've got a little bit of the blue still in here. I'm just trying not to overwhelm the color shift with the blue because I do want there to be some blue in the wings. We just don't want it to be too much. I want there to be a lot of iridescence in these wings. Okay, the edge of that wing was wanting to be cantankerous, so we're going to catch the edge of this one really good, and we're going to catch the edge of this one really well. And we'll grab just a hair of that blue in there just to make sure we're getting these edges a little bit. Better there where that leaf and all that comes in together to play. I'm trying to do the wings so that they kind of follow that wing path, but I don't want it to flick too much and come out over on our grass too bad. Okay, I'm loving those. Do I put my glittery dragonfly glaze on top of those or do I leave them plain? Hmm. You see the shiny sparkly? I think the wings need it. I think the wings need a touch of the shiny glittery sparkle. Yep. All right, and I'm just going to hit the wings with this. It won't be really thick, but I bet it gives it that big time wing iridescent sparkle look that we're looking for. Now 
that'll definitely take a little bit longer to dry. I think the glaze there typically does take a little longer to dry. All right, there's one. There's two. There's three. It was a little thicker on that other one. I was trying to get it smoothed out a little bit and it just seemed like it kept getting thicker and thicker instead of thinner and thinner. Three and four. That's the one I just did. Yep. Okay. Last one. And I think this is going to be perfect glittery glaze finish on these. It adds just this beautiful sparkle. I like to use it in the water whenever I'm doing ocean paintings. If I well, and the one that I've tried to do, let's put it that way. I really liked how it looked when I added it to the water. Just added like a natural sunlight sparkling on it kind of a look to it. So. Alrighty, guys. I am done. Okay. So, and I am one of those frugal people, and yes, I will put that back in there. And since I'm pretty sure I did not manage to contaminate that part of it, I'll grab that. All right, guys. Whoop. I'll have to pick that lid up in a minute. Well, anyway, thank you for hanging with me today. Thank you for painting my lantern with me. See you lights. So you can see the glittery look in the leaves already. I think it added a massive. They already look a little ir they're ir iridescent, but then you see the glittery sparkly that's in those wings too. So hope y'all have a great afternoon, and I will talk to y'all next time. Have a fantastic weekend.